Hey guys, it's GT Flare Ace, and today we are back for some more Pokemon Showdown. And right now, we're just gonna do a Gen 7 unrated random battle. Because my previous team with the Minior in the last video you guys saw, that team got deleted. I guess I didn't save when I left Showdown. So we're just gonna rock out with this random battle. I haven't done these in a while because I like to make my own teams with their own nicknames, but we'll just see what happens. So, pretty sure this should be Gen 7. So, this is our team. Nothing too new, but yeah. So, Talonflame is pretty bad. Talonflame is a pretty tough one to beat. I could go for the Stone Edge on Cuckoo Dial, but I don't know if I'll have two hits. I mean, I'll get the Intimidate off. You know, that's probably a good idea. I'm going to do that. He starts to, like, use him bulk up or something. Oh, he's going to go for Sword Stance. Okay. Well, we got to hope. We can live like a brave bird. Okay, 72%. We have we have to hit. Okay, there we go. Time flame's gone. So if that, if that didn't hit, that thing could have easily swept my team. Alright, well we just gotta see what he has now. T B X Y. But yeah. Uh, I have do apologize for the not a lot of uploads. Cause I have been kind of finding time to make this one. But yeah. They'll just come when they come, but yeah. Anyways, put Groudon Primal, Primal Groudon. Let's see right here. Since I'm Scar, probably, I mean, does Ground resist Rock? I'm not sure if it does. It's super effective against Fire, but I doubt it will kill anyway. But I don't really have a lot to do against this thing. And I kind of want to try some Stealth Rock. I don't know if I should just sack myself off. I don't really know what to do. No, we're just gonna go for Stone Edge. Oh no, it's 16%, never mind. Well, now he's gonna outspeed me, that's for sure. So, mm, what can we do? Why don't you try to switch out? Let's go on the Grump Pig, let's see what he can do. Alright, Lava Flume. See, we actually ate that up. That's what happens if we slap something like Lava Flume onto Primal Groudon. I'm not sure if that's actually good or not, but. I feel like it's more of a physical mod. Oh, and there you go, I'm gone. That's not good. Maybe I could try go for the yawn. Do you think I would speed? Yeah, no, you'll probably outspeed now. Should have been faster. Okay, well, you don't show smash, never mind. I think I could out still outspeed with Scarf. Uh, Cuckadile. I'm gonna try it. Place got to intimidate. 273 and. Whatever he has. I'm just gonna go for Earthquake. Hopefully I can do some damage. Oh no, he's getting on speed. Never mind. That's not good. I guess they leveled everything up to level 75. Because before, they changed the levels based on your Pokemon. I mean, I don't have much to do here. That's the thing. He out he's probably gonna outspeed. And pretty much just destroy whatever I have. Just go for the hydro pump. Oh no, I just get killed. That's what happens when you get given a primal crowd on. So you know what? Fire Plus probably ain't gonna do anything. Even in the sun, because you resist it. Uh you're part normal. I don't know why. It's so weird because he gets Moxie. But yeah, he's a special attacker. No, I'm gonna get swept. I kind of wish it is something more pyroid though. But you know, there's some thought right there, but you know, just casually thinking as we get the first battle of the night, just we get swept by this thing. You know, whatever. I'll take the L. I'll take the loss. 5 old. You know what? We're just gonna look for another battle. And maybe we'll get better Pokemon this time. Alright, Breloom, and I got a Mothum. Oh, I have Tapu Koko and Regiram. And Emonga. I think we have better chances now. Okay, so Mothum. Uh, he might outspeed us, actually. Ooh, we have Tinted Lenses. I like that ability. I'm not sure if I should take him out now. It's gonna, like, Spore. You know what? I'm just gonna do it. Rock Tube, never mind. That's, like... 150 damage, couldn't take it. No, oh, that lasted long. You know, I'm just gonna go on top of Coco. 
Because this thing is awesome. They already got 6 gen sprites. Because last time I did this, they didn't have it. I'm just going to go for the Brave Bird. Do what it do. It's going to go out into Flareon. I actually did a lot of damage. Okay, let's see what I'm holding. Expert Bell, okay. So 141, 239. I should outspeed. I should. You never know what's going to happen. I think Brave Bird would do... I mean, Wild Charge should do more, right? Uh, I should do about the same. I'm just going to do that instead. Wild Charge, there we go. That's Flurry on down. I mean, both need to recoil, but I mean... You gotta do what you gotta do. So let's just see what he sends out next. I think Tapu Koko is my favorite Tapu Legend. I don't know. I just really like it a lot. But when I used it, I used it for catching Pokemon. But yeah, whenever I use it, it's super frail. It goes on pretty much anything. Which is pretty unfortunate. <clears throat> I don't know if I want to leave him out this. I'm just going to U-turn. Super effective, 56%. I guess Rock doesn't resist Bug. That's kind of weird. He's probably going to go for a bug type move. I mean, a, a rock type move. So I don't know what I want to do here. Let's go on to Reuniclus. I like Reuniclus a lot. But it's just, it's design. It's really cool. And this is an offensive uh, Lunin Tone. That's pretty weird. It just gives off more of that defensive vibe. I don't know. Maybe that's just stereotyping. It's because it looks like a moon. And we thought... Uh, Sun and Moon would actually do something with Unito and Solrock, but as far as I'm aware, they haven't done a thing with them. And it's pretty disappointing because it just leaves them like, it makes them even more useless. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to stay in. I'm gonna get spored. I mean, why else would he send this thing out against me? Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. Rina is slow on the bullet seed. Never mind. I think Emoga could have actually lived that. But regardless, 149, 190. Okay, we're, we're gonna actually have Emoga try to put in some work here. Air Slash, I think they should do the work. And yeah, that Breloom is gone. Alright, we're having a bit of a better battle than last time. So that's good. But yeah. What am I, what am I gonna do against you? Uh, let's try. Let's try Substitute. Let's see what it does. Probably gonna attack me. Yeah, Fire Blast. Pretty much gonna take out whatever I use, and that's not good. So maybe I'll just. I wonder if I should try flinch it. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna try flinch this thing. Oh, never mind. We missed. <laughs> that lasted long. I gotta do a lot of damage at least. Let's see. Let's see. Can we get this flinch? We're not gonna get this flinch. Never mind. Ta at least we took it down to half. Life orb stall, I guess. Say so, so. 194. I don't want to use Delcaddy. Let's let's just use Tapu Coco. I mean, I want to try to get some Delcaddy use, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be able to do much. So yeah, down goes the Nine Tails. See the rest of his two Pokemon is he's got a Lugia. Okay. I feel like he's got multi scale. Say like, I want to save Tapu Coco, but like I don't know. I just feel like Wild Charge won't do a lot anyway. Let's try to go for Nature's Madness. So he can get rid of that mode scale. And he's gonna go for the Toxic. <clears throat> so now, if he does that mode scale, it won't matter. And hopefully Wild Charge should actually kill. Especially with the Extra Belt. And I have no idea what Electric Turn into Rose, I just let it run. But yeah, super effective Extra Belt, Stab, Wild Charge. Take this Lugia out. I got Faith. Apparently. I think the Tapu Legends and the Ultra Beasts are allowed in OU, which seems pretty wild looking at some of their stats, but uh, yeah. I guess you get what you get. I was afraid he's gonna uh, fake out me, but I guess not. Well, let's hope Delcaddy can take it out. I'll just go for the fake out first in case, just to get some of that damage off. Alright, 15%. Let's see, I center focus then. Oh, I just screwed myself over. Yeah, I think you can take him out, double charge, and that is GG. Two Pokemon left. A little bit of a better battle. And I'm not sure if I want to do another battle. I might do another one. Actually, no. Nah. I'll probably keep these videos short. So, pretty much a quick video, quick Gen 7 unrated battle. Unrated random battle. But yeah. 
I'll probably that'll be it for this video and if you guys want I hope you guys show your support in any way you can and with that I should probably try to record more of these in one bulk but yeah and finally with that I'll see you guys in the next video